truly unbelievable. Verdum submitted Fyodor Emelianenko, and now he just submitted Cain Velasquez. Is he the greatest heavyweight of all time? Well, I mean, the guy just won the heavyweight championship. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time. Slow down, Aaron Hawani. Nonetheless, a great performance. Right over there, we have Andre Arlovsky eyeing you down. JDS is over there. Stipe Miocic has been campaigning. Who's next for this man? Yeah, Arlovsky is staring at me right now. And, uh, you know, every heavyweight in this building wants this fight now. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. It really does open up the division, though, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very interesting. Let's talk about the co-main event. Did you think Eddie Alvarez did enough to win that fight? I did. I mean, it all depends on how you score that second round. I think the elbow solidified it at the end of the round. I gave Eddie the second round, and uh, I gave him the third round. Were you surprised that Eddie Alvarez blew his nose, which ended up closing his eye? It happens. You're, you're in the heat of the moment. You know, he was rocked. He was hurt. It's crazy. It's crazy how that happens, but you don't ever blow your nose. Do you think altitude affected Melendez as well? Altitude affected everybody in this building tonight. Um, yeah. And then Yair. I mean, Yair, what an amazing up-and-coming superstar this kid is. How about he had food poisoning? He got food poisoning last night. He's been throwing up all day and all night. Still took that fight and looked unbelievable. That's why he puked on himself. Yes, he was puking before that and after that, too. Let's talk about Henry Cejudo, because he complained of food poisoning as well. Do you think he did enough to be the number one contender in the flyweight division, or would you like to push him a little slower? I don't know. We'll see. How about Kelvin Gaslam? He says he's going to seek you tonight and say, please, let me go back to 170. What do you make of that? He looked great tonight. Um, but let me tell you what, he was a couple pounds over and had to cut to make 85. You should have, you should have, if, if you were going to campaign to fight at 170, you should have come in under 185 or right on the nose and, you know, I don't know. So you're going to say no, stick to, to 185 for now? Probably, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a tough blow for Kelvin because he was pretty sure that he was going to convince you. I'm pretty sure he's not going to make 170 again. You know, I, I just think the kid, it's dangerous. And until he proves that he can make 170 pounds, you know, it's the same thing that happened with uh, with Anthony Johnson. You just get to a point where a guy starts, uh, you know, not making the weight. It's, it, it, it screws a lot of things up. Finally, let's put a bow on this event. 14 years you've been trying to come to Mexico, and now second straight sellout. You broke the gate record here. I mean, Mexico. Twice. Broke the gate record, then broke our own record. And let me tell you what, there's these moments that we have here in the UFC. And tonight when the main event went off, I was looking around, packed to the rafters. 21-8 or something like that in this building, there wasn't one ticket to sell, not one left, right? And everybody had their cell phones on. It just, it was awesome, man. It's so cool to see a fight down here. But I'll tell you what, altitude kills. A dream realized, though, for the company, right? Yeah, and for me personally, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Congratulations, Dana. Thank you.